Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is solving a system of equations using a graphing calculator, specifically a TI-84. And most graphing calculators with this feature are pretty much the same. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, now with using a graphing calculator, you can't necessarily plug them in when they're in standard form like this, so you have to manipulate it. So I'm going to start with the first equation, label it equation number one, so I can keep track of it. Now with equation number one, I have two-thirds x plus one over six, y equals 19 over two. What I want to do first is take the LCD of 3, 6, and 2 and multiply the whole equation by the LCD. The LCD here is what? Yeah, it's 6. So I multiply everything by 6. When I multiply everything by 6, the denominators are going to cancel out. Here, 3 cancels out with the 6, leaving me a 2, so it's 2 times 2, which is 4. So it's 4x. 6 times, well, 6 goes in 6 once, so it's 1 times 1, which is just y, equals, and then I have 2 times, well, 2 goes in 2 once, and then 2 goes in 6 3 times, so now I have 3 times 19. 19 times 3, using my calculator, is 57. So then what I do next, that's just to get rid of the denominators, so it's easier to work with. Now you just want to solve for y. So here I just subtract both sides by 4x. So that gives me y equals negative 4x plus 57 for my first equation. For my second equation, Rewrite it here. So I have one third x minus two ninths y equals two. Take the LCD of three and nine, so that would be nine. So nine times one third, the three is going to cancel out the nine, leaving with me at the three, so it's three times one which is 3x minus the 9's cancel out there so it's just negative 2y equals 9 times 2 which is 18. Now after I get rid of all the denominators I'm going to do the same thing as I did over here and that is I'm going to solve for y and again you need to solve for y when you're plugging into your calculator. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 3x. So that gives me negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 18. Because negative 3x and 18 are along like terms, so you're not going to combine them. Now I'm solving for y, so that means I got to divide everything by negative 2. So I divide everything by negative 2. Simplify, so it's y equals 3 halves x, 18 over negative 2 gives me negative 9. So it's minus 9. All right, so that's my second equation. So that's what you want to do first. Second, you want to type them in. So you go to the y equals screen, which shows you all the functions, so push the y equals to get this screen. Now type in each equation individually. So you have negative 4. Now for your variable, push the variable button, which is this one right here. Push it. Plus 57. Push enter. Now for the second one, you have 3 halves x So I'm going to put 3 halves in parentheses, 3 halves, and then x 
minus nine. Yeah, you want to make sure that you push the minus sign here, not the negative sign. Right, so then push graph. There's one, and the other one's kind of missing. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So zoom. And I'm gonna do zoom fit. Now it looks like the intersection is somewhere over here. So I have to expand this a little bit more. So I'm gonna go window and I'm gonna increase my Y max, or sorry, my X. So I'm gonna increase it to 20. Let's see if that works. Yeah, you want to keep on going until the, you see the intersection on the screen. Then push second, calc. Now you're looking for the solution, which is the intersection. So select number five for intersect. Now you want to, if there's more than one point, you want to get close to the point, but here it doesn't really matter. So enter once for first curve, enter second time for second curve, and then guess, just get it kind of close. So my solution here is 12 comma nine. And that's it.